This is Ballerina Birmingham and Chris Fenson, joined as always by the talented, the man with a smooth voice, Mr. Steve Freeman. Steve, how are you? I'm so good right now, Chris, because we've got a night of 20 fights ahead of us, and they're absolute barn burners, as we say back home. Yep. And we're inviting Mikey Tranter to his first, his debut fight. Yeah. How old is this young man, Chris? He is only 17 years old. Can you imagine the cojones on a young man to walk out to this packed crowd here at Edge Baston Stadium and have a cage fight in your underwear at just 17 year old years old. Most 17 year olds are still, uh, still learning how to ride a bike or popping spots. This man is walking out as a cage fighter. He's half my age and he's got twice the beard I do. So <laughs> it's gonna be absolutely amazing to see him come in. And like you say, 17 years old, He's one of these new generations of fighters that have grown up with mixed martial arts being on the tip of the tongue, being an actual option for people. And I know that you coach your team, especially your youth team, with a full sort of range of martial arts experience. And that might be what we're seeing here today, that next evolution of fighter in that 17-year-old Mikey Tranter. Yeah, it's so true, Steve. We're, we're now having fighters come through that started this sport at, you know, six, seven, eight years old, and they are true mixed martial artists, you know. My generation or your generation, you know, you were a wrestler, I was a karate guy, we both fell in love with jiu-jitsu, but you, you have styles, but now these guys do everything. Derek Holding, I know he's making his debut, fighting of an elite MMA over in Leighton Buzzard. Steve, I think you've done a little bit of work with the elite guys. Can you give us some insight into the kind of gym it is and the training that Derek's been doing? I've been so lucky because over over the lockdowns and over well the freeing up of lockdowns, Elite Training Center was one of our our elite. Well, it became an elite training center for elite athletes. So I got a little bit of time in with Derek Holden, just been on the mat with him. And earlier this year, he had an inter club over at Blood, Sweat and Tears Academy, BST in Northampton. And whereas it almost looked like he was getting a bit backed up on the feet, he was able to take it down, take the take his opponent down and absolutely dominate him on the ground. So he's becoming a bit of a wizard on the ground. Got a very strong wrestling pedigree, do they, over there at Elite under Mickey Gro I'm gonna say it, Gronovjevic, Gronovjevic? Anyway, he's a Macedonian, <laughs> Macedonian world team member. They just have an incredible acumen of different training and different styles. So they've got Muay Thai, boxing, wrestling, and Jiu Jitsu, and they, bring them all together because it has always been a training center for mixed martial arts. Yep. So that's always where they want to bring these fighters. So they're aware of where they want to go. And hopefully they've, well, they've got Derek parked on the door, doorstep right now. And he's going to enter the cage for the first time here at Battle Arena. Yeah, and what a, what a moment for Derek. You know, they're having that debut, walking in there, having your first fight. It's, it's, such, a, it's such a moment as well to savor as well. I remember Steve having my first fight and running to really savor that moment of doing something so out there. It's like jumping out of a plane, you know, or bungee jumping, one of these kind of extreme things. You just want to savor that second. Steve, the, the traps on uh, Mr. Mikey Trantor are distracting. Somebody's been shrugging it. Yeah, Dirt off his shoulders, I don't even know. But th there's a difference. Where does his neck start? There's a, oh yeah. there's a, he's got what my wife would call a head neck. <laughs> <laughs> but he's looking very calm, actually, and I noticed a bit more pacing there from Derek Holding. Right. Yeah, it's always interesting the first few seconds when you have guys coming out having debut fights. Ooh, Mikey Trantor's very aggressive. Yeah, he's looking to power through and just gets the takedown there. You could see what he was doing there. He was walking up, walking through, and yeah. there's Derek Holding, working a high guard. Now oh, he's up he's on, his, on his, his own double. Big is slam. He, is he in a guillotine, Steve? This he is, is the question. Whether I it's think. deep or not. Yeah. He's out. Derek's on top. Oh, he's, he's looking to pass the, the legs. Oh, he's looking for a guillotine. Oh. Another big slam. God, they're just trading slams at this point. That's what you you always give us the same line, Steve. High into the Birmingham sky. That's what that was. And they came down with thunder, both of them. But it is Tranter who's on top right now. Yeah, and Derek Holding's doing well. He's trying to get onto his left-hand side. 
trying to feed that knee through so that he can make space and get back to some kind of guard or back to his feet. But it's going to be hard. The pressure of Mikey Transor on top. You can see that shoulder pressure coming in with that wrap. He's yep. got that, he had that, I think he held onto that guillotine a little bit too long. And Trantor could be looking for that Von Flu choke with that pressure. Yeah, we're seeing a slight slowdown in the pace here. Oh, Trantor looking for a knee on belly. It's kind of an unusual thing. Derek's popping out the back. Yes, great work great. by Derek. Could and he end up back again. on top? Now he's got again his own the takedown. Double. The power mm. of Trantor. Wow. I don't know what they're feeding that 17-year-old, but I want some. Well, that, that was incredible. He just got his hips forward and lifted him when Derek was in perfect position to finish the double. Yeah, he's got some... That's some uh, teen hormone levels going on there, Steve, giving yeah. him that power. And he's back on the single. Holding, doing well to defend. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. We're done, we're oh. done, we're done. Oh, his arm is broken. Great takedown there from Mikey Trantor. Derek Holden with a broken arm. The medics are rushing in. Going to be checking on him now. Just an awkward landing off a brilliant takedown there. He was, post the was posting his hand out, unfortunately, after the double. Yep. And there you hear the uh, obvious pain going through yep. Derek Holdings' arm there. Yeah, and I mean, we're going to this hush that's falling over the Birmingham crowd of the reality of what they're watching. Sometimes you go to these MMA events and it feels like you're watching a movie or something, and then you see someone get really hurt, and then there is that Guys, weird you quietness. You pull in a towel. We like. Age, age, give him the towel. Give him the towel. James, take the towel. Okay. Uh, what a moment. What a debut. But I mean, all credit to our man there, Mikey Trantor. Beautiful takedowns, chain Back wrestling, putting everything together. And uh, a little bit unluck unlucky there for Derek Holding. I know it was in his debut. Oh. It was a pretty close fight up to that point. Derek was it defending is. well, moving well. Both fighters doing really well for being so inexperienced. It was just something that. It happens every day in the wrestling training room. You just post your hand out. It's not what you're supposed to do, but if you catch it wrong like Derek did there, it just goes back over itself. Yeah. <sighs> what a what an unfortunate thing there. Cuz it's hard to take that big slam. It really is. And it's it's just it's just instinct. It's what he did. What a, a real powerful power powerhouse back and forth there for those 2 minutes. But man, just so disappointing. And so, Bit, of tra bit tragic there. Derek's elbow will be broken. His, his arm will be snapped back. Yeah. We'll be going off to the local hospital. We're having it looked over. And that's, that's the thing about fighting on different shows. You know, Battle Arena, we always have medics cage side. We always have an ambulance outside. So if on the rare occasion that, you know, an injury like this happens, you get attention straight away. It's not like people see fighting and they think it's like a pub fight or a bar fight. No, no, no. That's on a concrete floor. There's no medicals nearby. There's no doctor. There's no ref. This is as safe as this very violent sport can be. Now we see uh, Alan Jackson coming in, who's our referee, but also uh, a firefighter for the uh, Buckinghamshire Fire Service. So we've got a lot of experience, but not just with our, our medical staff, but also with our our referees and our cage staff. I'm sorry, folks. I'm just a little bit taken aback there. You never want to see something like that happen. And those yeah. of you that are watching on the pay-per-view, there's obviously a lot of support for both Derek Holding and for Mikey Tranter. But, you know, Mikey didn't want this to go that way. That's for sure. You don't want to injure somebody. No. The most important thing is that people are, are safe. And I think me and you have both been there, Steve. We've been lifelong martial artists. There is that moment where you occasionally accidentally injure someone. And it is such a horrible feeling. You know, it's horrible if you have either the guy doing it or having it done. And um, you just think about how many times you were just that close. Your hand yeah, was there, constantly. your thumb was there, yep. your, your leg was in that position or something like that. And it could have gone one way or the other. And you just, you end up, it's, it's just dumb luck. Yeah. You know, you're one way or the other. Mikey Trantor was not looking to break the arm. He was looking for a big takedown to do damage with the takedown, get on top, get to a dominant position. And he was doing an excellent job of it. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's unfortunate. It's all. I was quite enjoying the fight up to that point. It was very back and forth. Um, we were starting to see some of Derek Holdings' wrestling defense, and he was coming up to his knees, poking out the back. We we're starting to see really good technique from both these fighters, but uh, just an awkward landing on that elbow. Uh, and that's the thing, Steve. Like we might be a bit calm right now, but people at home watching this on pay per view or watching the replay, you know, the UK MMA community. There's a lot of gyms. Uh, but, you know, we sit, it's a small community. We're, you know, me and you will know most of the coaches, a lot of the fighters. 
We've both had the pleasure of actually training with uh, Derek Holding. So as much as we want to be jumping up and down excited for our boy, uh, Mikey Trantor, it's a difficult moment because we just want to make sure that uh, Derek's okay. And uh, we have the best medics here. We have uh, an emergency room, uh, no, A&E in this country, doctor on, on staff all the time. And so the best paramedics. And they will be, uh, you know, doing everything they can the correct way. Yeah, so they're putting a pick line into him now, making sure that he's that he doesn't go into shock, yep. etc. I just want to, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm going to go and have a little nose. Well, we've got some huge fights coming up later on. We've got some main event. We've got some title fights. We've got some of the best guys in the country fighting it off. We have Will Haycox making his professional MMA debut. Um, we're really looking forward to that. I mean, the guy has won everything you can possibly win as an amateur fighter. And now he's going to be going into those pro ranks. Broken, just popped in and out. Yeah, I could have been, man, I was worried. I could have been a spiral fracture or something horrible like I've, that. His elbow was I've out just like, my elbow before. So. <laughs> Man, I paid 50 pounds to get my elbow dislocated one time <laughs> at the English Open. <laughs> I think we're currently on VT, Steve. What's VT? Uh, the, the, that's going out, not us. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That's the worst. That's the worst thing. Kev. Cam, you're cutting back. So after one minute and 43 seconds of the first round, we have your winner via referee stoppage for the fight off. In the red corner, Mikey.